Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to show you how you can use models from Hugging Face either by their pipeline or by using them in combination with Langchain. So to get started, let's first take a look at the pipeline example and afterwards let's see the code on how we can use this locally with Langchain. So at first, uh, some of you might already be familiar with that, but if you would like to use a model from, in this case, Hugging Face, we just need to import the Transformers library and to be specific, the pipeline object from the Transformers library. And I also uh, import a torch here just to see that torch is installed on my system. And then all we need to do is create a pipeline object. Then we specify the task, for instance, text generation in this case, and then we specify a model. In this case, I'm using this wizard math, but you could use any kind of model. When you do this, make sure that the model uh, you want to choose is supported. So if you go to the Hugging Face homepage and search for the task text generation, then you can see a bunch of models. And if you want to learn more about that or want to see me doing this, just let me know. But just to mention that, if you go there and choose the task, then take a look at the models which are available and go to the website there and just take a look uh, whether this model is supported for the specific task you want to do. Also, if the inference API is available. So having said that, the way this works is just, as I said, we instantiate the pipeline object, then we specify what kind of task. You specify the model, which you get from Hugging Face, so this specific path, and then you can simply uh, put in the text. Here, for instance, the goal in life is uh, in the pipe object here, and then just print it, and then you can run it. To do this, however, what you need to do in this case, if you specify a model like this, you need to download the weights first. So then you can run it locally. And this might take a little bit of time, depending on your internet connection, because this model, for instance, is around nine gigabytes. So nine gig you need to download, and after that you can run this locally, if you want to do this. So that's the pipeline step here. Now let's take a look at the way how we can use this in Hugging Face, also with the pipeline object. So to do this, uh, with Langchain, I'm sorry, <laughs> with Langchain. So to do this, we import a torch, also Transformers here again, and then from Transformers, we specify here, for instance, the Llama tokenizer and Llama for Causal LM, and also here some config objects and the pipeline object. So then we specify a tokenizer and we use this form pre-trained option simply to download the specific, in this case, uh, large language model in this case. And again, we store it then here as the tokenizer object. And also we do the same for the model. So instead of using the pipeline directly, we first use the tokenizer, instantiate that, and download it from free trained model, this one here. The path is exactly the same. We do the same here for the model from pre-trained. We specify this, and then there are a bunch of configuration options. For instance, loading 8-bit should make sure that the model is smaller and fit on our uh, device and our RAM and so on. So our uh, basically personal computer configurations. So there are options to shrink or make the, uh, in this case, the weights of the model smaller, um, which might, uh, well, impact the performance a little bit, but it helps us really to, to size uh, the model to make it smaller, and that's why this is very important to do that. We can set a device map and auto here, and here again, uh, the data type, here's torch, and then low CPU memory reusage also of true. And then we have our model. Again, if you have not downloaded the model here itself, so the weights, you need to download them first, which might take a little time, uh, but after that, you can run this completely local without any internet connection. So uh, after doing this, actually, then we have the tokenizer in the model. And then we again use the pipeline here. And from long chain, we have the so-called hugging face pipeline. So from the LLMs, normally you might be familiar with OpenAI or chat OpenAI and so on. But there's also the hugging face pipeline, which is great because this means that the uh, long chain and hugging face are completely well uh, operable. So they can, they can interact with each other. So you can use both. And the way it works is then again, we define our pipeline object here. We specify the text generation. In this case, we have the model and the tokenizer, which are both specified here in the pipeline. So we want to use this model, which you download here. We only use the tokenizer, which we download here. And then again, a bunch of configuration options. So temperature, so for instance, for the model between a value between zero and one. And then also a few additional informations or also the max length. So uh, how much actually text you want to generate. And all you need to do now is Finally, use the Hugging Face pipeline object. So from, in this case, the Langchain uh, library. So in this case, where is it? Here from Langchain, Hugging Face pipeline. And then simply put in the pipeline itself. And then you can basically can run this with any of the queries you have.
and this is then completely local and you can run it the way the often you want it and get your results. So that's it actually for doing this. So hopefully you have learned something new. As I said, give it a try yourself. Just make sure uh, that you have enough disk space available because it might take a little bit of time to download the weights. They are not, uh, around nine gig. So that's just um, what you need to be aware of. But beside this, hopefully that was helpful. If so, give this video a like. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more on this channel about these topics. If you've got questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.